Good morning, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Monday, September 15, 2014, around 7.20 in Bellica, Massachusetts. Cloudy day so far, but it's supposed to, the clouds supposed to be, burn off and it's supposed to be a nice day. A little bit chilly this morning, highs in the 40s right now, and should be up in the 60s. Some news to report, happy free money day in the world. And also the Baltimore Orioles magic number to clinch the AL East is down to three games. And that's about it for the news. My first subject of the day is the 10 greatest Boston Red Sox players of all time. The Boston Red Sox have, have been a chartered American League franchise since 1901. They have won eight World Series championships. And they've had a rich tradi tradition of great players. Also, they've been known as a cursed franchise for 86 years until finally they won the World's Championship in 2004. They subsequently won in 2007 and 2013. And this year, they are going to finish in last place in the American League, e League East. But that's okay. You know, the Red Sox will bounce back like they always do and probably wouldn't be surprised if they win the World Series again when the next time they make the playoffs. Okay? Here's the 10 greatest players in Red Sox history. Number 10 on the all-time list of greatest Red Sox players. Third baseman Wade Boggs played 11 seasons for the Red Sox between 1982 and 1992. He hit 338, 85 home runs, 687 RBIs. He won five American League batting titles. He's nicknamed the Chicken Man because he ate each. He used to eat chicken before each game he played. Plus, also he was infamously known having an extramarital affair during his time with the Red Sox with Margo Adams. But he's a baseball Hall of Famer, has over three thousand hits, and the Red Sox should retire as number twenty-six. That he's in at number 10, number 9 of all-time greatest players of Red Sox has to be catcher Carlton Fisk, 284 average with the Red Sox, 162 home runs, 562 RBIs, one of the greatest catchers of all time, Pudge, and his number 27 is retired by the Red Sox, and he's a Hall of Famer. He comes in at number 9, number 8 on the all-time list of greatest Red Sox players of all time. Dwight Evans, outfield third baseman, 272 career average with the Red Sox. 379 home runs, 5 1,546 RBIs. He should be in the Baseball Hall of Fame and his number 24 should be retired, but that would get confused because there was another 24 who wore the Red Sox for about eight years, and you know who I'm talking about, Manny Marillas. Number seven on the all-time list of greatest Red Sox players of all time, designated hitter and first baseman, David Ortiz, Big Poppy. So far, he's had a, a Red Sox batting average of 290 average, 405 home runs, and 1,200 and... 90 RBIs. He comes in at number 7. Number 6 on the old time list of greatest Red Sox players of all time. Shortstop Bruce, I mean, Joe Cronin. He's not related to the to my ex-co-worker at Hot Hanks, Bruce Cronin, who's a Yankees fan. Joe Cronin, shortstop, 300 average, 119 home runs, 737 RBIs. He was a player manager for the Red Sox. Eventually, he became general manager of the Red Sox. And, he's, and he eventually became American League president. Number four, retired by the Red Sox. He comes in at number six. Number five on the all-time list of greatest Red Sox players of all time. Jimmy Fox, double X. First baseman, two, 320 career average, 222 home runs, 788 RBIs. He won the American League Most Valuable Player in 1938 in a Red Sox uniform. He comes in at number five. Number four on the all-time list of greatest Red Sox players of all time. Second baseman Bobby Doerr, 200, a 288 average, two, 223 home runs, 1,245 RBIs. Baseball Hall of Famer, he was voted in by the Veterans Committee in 1986 because Ted Williams' his teammate was on there. Number one is retired by the Red Sox in his honor, and he's the oldest living Baseball Hall of Famer still living right now. 
Bobby Doerr comes in at number four. Number three on the all-time list of greatest Red Sox players of all time. Outfielder designated hit a, hit a Jim Rice. 298 career average. Dirt. 382 home runs, 1,451 RBIs, uh, won the 1978 most MVP for most valuable player in the American League. A very clutch hitter. Number 14 is retired by the Red Sox, and he's he's a baseball Hall of Famer. He's on Nesson a lot. He comes in at number three. Number two on the all-time list of greatest Red Sox players of all time, Kai Yastrzemski. Kai Yastrzemski, the man they call Yaz, we love him. Kai Yastrzemski, outfielder and first baseman. 285 career average, 452 home runs, 1,844 RBIs. 1967, most valuable player. He won the Triple Crown that year. Three times he slid the American League in batting. His number eight's retired by the Red Sox, first ballot Hall of Famer. And the number one player of all time in Red Sox history, Ted Williams, a.k.a. Teddy Ballgame, a.k.a. The Kid, a.k.a. Thumper. Ted Williams, 344 career batting average, 521 home runs, 1,839 RBIs. Two times he won the American League Most Valuable Player. Two times he's won the Triple Crown. He's the greatest Red Sox player of all time. Number nine's retired by... The Red Sox, first ballot Hall of Famer in 1966, and he's probably the greatest, probably one of the top 10 greatest baseball players ever, and one of the greatest hitters of all time. He he was the last player to hit 400 in a season back in 1941, and if he did not miss five years for serving his country in World War II or the Korean War, he probably would have, he would have probably hit close to 700 home runs and driven on over 2,000 RBIs, and maybe he would have hit 400 again or, or won more batting titles. And that's about it for the greatest Red Sox players of all time. Maybe in the near future, I'm going to do the top 10 greatest Red Sox pitchers of all time. And the rest of the day, so my video blog is slated to be the classic television show Benson and Jack Buck. And... That's about it for right now. I hope you enjoy these video blogs. I love doing these every single day. And if you have any feedback, send it to me. If you want anything shouted out about these video blogs, I'll shout it out to you. Have a good day, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye.